Hi everyone, let's continue elasticity of demand. I have already explained you elasticity of demand in my previous lecture, previous video. You can see price elasticity of demand. And these are the exceptions to the law, each and everything I had already explained. I have already explained you all these five degree of uh, price elasticity of demand. This one is the type of uh, price elasticity. This table already explained you in my previous video. I will share the link of my previous video also in this video. Then we come to the determinants of price elasticity of demand. Number one, there is first determinant of price elasticity of demand is nature of the commodity. It depends on what is the nature of the commodity. Commodity is what kind of commodity, whether it is a necessity item or it is a this is the commodity it is a luxury goods right or it is a what what could be the shelf life of this particular commodity right if this the shelf life is very low so accordingly price and uh, demand that would be very let's say somebody is selling fish and uh, he has uh, because fish that would be rotten after 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 some uh, time period after some span of time period so people, they would like to finish this item, whatever is the price should be low down, but that, that commodity should be finished. Like this, like vegetables, fruits, those have very, uh, shelf life is very low. Then is availability of substitutes. It depends on availability of the substitutes. If the there is substitute is available, so obviously person will shift from that particular commodity to the substitute side. If substitutes are not available, there is the monopoly. So obviously, person, he would purchase your product only. Different uses of the commodity. It depends on, like I said, electricity. Electricity have different uses of the commodity. Because if the electricity, I mean, different, various kinds of uses of this particular commodity. In the same way, other commodities also have various uses. Then we come to the importance of the commodity in consumer's budget. Where it is we have placed, I mean, in our budget, where I have put it, this particular commodity in my budget, if it is least, least important, so we can leave it, right? If it is most important, so of course, on that particular price, we have to create demand. There is, I mean, that would affect our demand. Possibility of postponing of the consumption. I mean, how much is the possibility of uh, we can uh, postpone our consumption? Then we come to the joint demand. Joint demand means we are talking about, let's say, car and petrol. Both these things are required together. It's not possible if you are demanding car. So without petrol, it can be or car or diesel or whatever. So it can be you can you can consume this particular commodity. You can use this commodity. But but it is not possible you can use this commodity. Right. Then after that, we can come to the without a single Time for adjustment and purchase, right? What is the importance of the time? How much time you can adjust for purchasing of this particular commodity? Then we come to the fashion, taste and preference of consumers. What is the, I mean, according to fashion, according to taste, according to preference, customer, how it will react when the price is going up or going down. Then we come to the income elasticity of demand. Income elasticity, it measures how much the quantity demanded of a good respond to a change in the income of the consumer. It is con computed as. You can see this is income elasticity of demand. And you can see numerator is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in income. That is represented by EY. Y is always representing for income in our economics and uh, cross elasticity of demand means it measures how much the quantity demanded of a good x responds to a change in price of good y it is computed as see there is a difference cross elasticity means we are talking about we are taking if we are taking price of let's say tea and coffee both these things are substitutes let's say if we are taking price of tea then we are taking um, this one is the um, quantity of, we can say, coffee. So, tea and coffee. Let's say I am taking this example. Percentage change in quantity demanded of good X. And percentage change in price of good Y. Let's say percentage change in quantity demanded of good X means what could be the changes in quantity demanded of tea 
if the price of coffee will change or vice versa if the percentage change in quantity demanded of uh, um, coffee if percentage change in the price of tea so this is the cross elasticity of demand so i hope all these three kinds of elasticity is clear and determinants of price elasticity of demand is clear and in the next video we will and i'm giving you um, link in my description box uh, um, elasticity of demand those i have covered in my previous videos and in the next uh, uh, in the in the next video what we are going to cover uh, we will start supply elasticity supply only then after that elasticity of supply i hope this video would be helpful thank you keep watching